Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. <laughs> uh. It is really hard to make that voice for that guy, the old, the old judge. But I want to get it like that. Um, so... This also contradicts this one. Because we got this from him personally. Contains a photos of every victory we see in the Steel Samurai has fought. Oh, I guess I'm too early. Okay. Okay, uh, let's do this again. Let's press him then. Uh. So, you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once? No. Okay then. Tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm going to get into that. Um, okay. So the bad guy attacked him first. Yeah. So what sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person! He was a person! How was he dressed? I kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. What happened next? Mm. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, cause the Steel Samurai brought him to justice! And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch! Samurai chop and slap! Something like that? He's still being very vague about this. What? Don't be giving me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Uh, we should press him harder here. Cody. What? Something is bothering me. Before you said you couldn't take your eyes off the action, yeah, so what? Yet, you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness has clearly stated what he saw quite clearly. Objection! You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell us what kind of murder you, murderer uses a samurai slap. <laughs> My point is this, Cody. You may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fights, but you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how we might have missed something so vital? Um, well, um, that's uh, the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think. Why couldn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can't figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Um. It'll be because he is still learning how to use the camera because he wants to take a shot of it. So actually, no matter which one we take of these, um, we can we get the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that is unpleasant. And I am going to. So he is watching something else. He missed the climb of the fight because he was looking at something else, probably. Probably something else. Oops. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could possibly distract this boy from his seeing his idol, the Steel Samurai fight? What do you claim he was looking at? Oof. Come on, think of something. Think of nothing. Mr. Wright, please refrain from making baseless accusations. Uh, but... Your Honor, I have evidence. Yes, Your Honor. Why would the camera? Here's my proof. What is that? The camera. 
The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I am aware of that. He is not exactly familiar with his operation. I was aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at that critical moment? Because I was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye! <laughs> What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for keep picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way for him. He could uh, just stand there, watching his hero, and not take the picture. Right, Cody. There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received a camera, you weren't used to, use to, uh, used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I bet you anything that he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody, Cody Hackins testify once more. Very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera and about why you didn't take the picture of the fight? Mm. Welcome to the real world, kid. There's no mercy here. We're just pushing, pushing, pushing. And look, he's crying. Come on. There's like, there's no mercy in the real world. Sorry. Yeah, you're right, Bobs. The steel samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture, but the lens wouldn't open at the time, so I missed it. But that's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? Hello there, Kaimo. I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with cross-examination anyway. How are you tonight, Kaimo? Uh, yep. Just ask about this. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, um, I guess the steel summer was moving a little strange. Moving? Strangely? We already know why he's moving strangely. Like, because, like, the leg and stuff. Elder history. I'm doing fine, thank you. Enjoying me some Phoenix Wright and, uh, yeah, just relaxing. Uh, why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. It's important to take breaks, Kaimo. <clears throat> uh, when the lens opened, what did you see? Um, well, a person on the ground and the steel samurai. Uh, was that what the thing you talked about earlier today, Alex? Or is this, or is this another meeting? <laughs> oh god, I feel for you regarding that. I mean, seriously, that's some utopia speaking there. Like, work for free, like, during your studies. Like, come on. I did a lot of stuff during my studies. I did a lot of stuff. Uh, to the point where I got a lot of recognition for it, but not, that was not, none of that was for free. All of that was for my own personal benefit. <laughs> And where it was for free, it was because I wanted to, like, enjoy myself during my student time in turn. No! Why not? No. Um, by just getting more t activities of things to do. So nothing was ever s uh, selfless there. <laughs> that is all? Yeah, I told you! I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have once I got that lens open. Do you really not take a picture? Not even one? Oh no! Are jealous here? Hey there, pigs! 
so you missed me questioning the uh, d the um, the director, the creepy guy. <clears throat> and uh, oh, oh well, we'll uh, Joe will might be back later then. But yeah, we we questioned the creepy guy and uh, managed to figure out that. There was no way anyone from the trailer could have gone to Studio One. That is where we're at now, and, and we're now questioning the kid. We probably scared Jell, Jell away. <laughs> uh, we're gonna press him harder. Nah, he definitely would have taken the picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody! Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture! Hey! Bullseye. Bullseye? <laughs> How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackens. It's one of my powers. And that is actually a little... So what he said there is actually a small um, foreshadowing for something that happens in later games. <laughs> Pokeballs. <laughs> Pokeballs! Catch the Vulpix! Wow, this feels great! <laughs> yeah, I, I took a picture. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect on this then, Cody? I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Nope. He didn't know such thing. You erased them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved steel samurai, Victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Mm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. I bet you'll find a clear contradiction soon, or some solid evidence. <clears throat> How did we... Okay, we, this is just like the summary thing. Okay, so we are... This one. There. Uh, but look forward to when you can find the uh, the music for the awesome awesome boy, the best boy in Hollow Knight. <laughs> I mean, yes. Like, if I could get my hands on one po, if I could get one Pokemon, it would be definitely be a Vulpix. <laughs> yes, Doma. I actually could play a little bit of that song on my violin. But you'll be in for a treat once he comes in. Because Ditto isn't a Vulpix. Really. Cody. <laughs> what? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, right. What was it you told me then? I got to do every live performance. I always take picture with the steel samurai lance, final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. <laughs> Molly, because they can bite people. <laughs> Cody, did you really get a picture of the steel samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. <laughs> Wouldn't you keep it for your album? No! Oh, Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called The Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackens. He claims the perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I, I see. Don't you find this odd, Your Honor? Among all of his pictures, none, uh, none were taken that day. Wada! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai has just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in his album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No, wait, no way! Phoenix? I think we'll finally discover the truth. And what a truth it is! 
<laughs> Mia, are we sure about this? Did he, did he actually? Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking about is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the pictures he took? So, what do you think? I mean, there is only one obvious one. That is correct. The Steel Samurai did not win. I can only think of one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That is why Cody deleted these photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No, 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 no way, no! It's, it's impossible! The, the Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to everyone, ever! Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take the picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet, yet to admit what he saw could, would destroy everything he believed in. That is why he lied and said, it's said that the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Oh, order! I will have order! Witness, I, I mean Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. Uh, hey, hey. Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Okay, okay, y you're right. The, the Steel Samurai fell down. Th 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 then he didn't move. We're gonna can cry. Aren't we proud of ourselves? Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the v murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what is going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. A an error? What is this all about? Um... <laughs> Still is candy too. So, Hammer was the victim, but Steel Samurai was also the victim. <laughs> if you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order! 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 Um, to answer your question, Kaimon, no, I do not. Um, and no, I will not be streaming any spooky games. Um, I don't like spooky games, you know. There's typically, you know, screaming involved from my part. I don't, don't like doing that. <laughs> I don't like spooky, scary games. I mean, I had enough problems playing through uh, through The Last of Us. <laughs> you just want to see me scream in terror. And you're not the only one who wants to see that. I mean, Tendo would like to see it, Kaimon would like to see it, Maya would like to see it, everyone likes to see me scream in terror. I did, I did say I had problems with The Last of Us. Yes. Yes, Alex, that's right. Huh? 
see me scream in terror from playing games. And she's grinning and smiling and waggling like a loon over there. But yes, Alex, uh, The Last of Us is the zombie fungus game. <coughs> yes, we are going to have the... I mean, we will stream the, la the, the second game as well. I mean, we will do it. Um, I'll be screaming in terror a lot, I suspect, but I will do it. If only to, you know, finish uh, what I started. <laughs> so, the Steel Samurai was in this photograph. You're saying that the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through at that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But wait! Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. <clears throat> On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor Ham Old Hammer? Nope. He'd probably already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Or was there a picture of him? He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Uh, huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. <laughs> what? Show us, quick! N no way, man. If, not if you're gonna look at me like that. No! <laughs> Here. This is it. They're just making the kid cry. <clears throat> Well, looking at this is a little hard to say. I'm afraid it would be could be anyone in that suit. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence, but it is though. I mean, look. Look here. Notice these here? This is not Studio One. Uh, I don't think we have a picture of that, but this is not Studio One. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia? What? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. W what? Y Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Certainly, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Find the inconsistency in the photo. This is the inconsistency. I think it's here. Oh. Okay, it'll be up here then. I mean, it's, it's the same thing, but whatever. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. <laughs> Get the, the uh, bigger screen. <laughs> Clearly, it's not a one, Your Honor. Correct? And uh, Edgeworth just realizes what's going on. It's like, no. <laughs> I believe Edge Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But... Th that's impossible! Hmm? Oh, uh, what's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court! <laughs> oh, I just love the judge, he's just so genuine. <laughs> I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what we see in this photo 
Um, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one at the gate in the photo. So, Your Honor, this is true that this here is the true scene of the crime. So we were in... Um... <laughs> nah, Edgeworth is... Uh, Edgeworth doesn't try to kill us. He is... Uh, he is far too... <clears throat> elegant for such measures. <laughs> here at Studio 2. I see, that would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the number the murder took place in Studio 2. Um, <laughs> assassins were hired. <laughs> um, because... So there are two of them, two of them here. Um, actually, it is any of these, if I recall correctly, because all of them are correct. So let's go for that. Studio 2 is no longer being used for filming. I see. And this is significant. Why? Good question. I need to think about these things through more. Ah, okay. Never mind. Stepping away, Your Honor. Um, but... The path is blocked. The path of the trail was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2 15. 15. In other words, the victim went to the Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said that no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. Murder. <laughs> yes, we have a director Salmonella. Uh, <laughs> fish is being bad. So they were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the middle meeting corresponding to the time of death. Pretty much, that's how we are interpreting uh, things right now, Pix, yes. During that time, Mr. Salmonella was... and Miss Divasks... Divas Vasquez were outside eating, eating steak. <laughs> they were the scene of the crime. Water! Water! The defense, defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. <laughs> Writing errors and urge to go back to Phantom. Uh. <laughs> oh. Ah, minus he's right to the heart of the matter. <laughs> The person, the security guard, the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole the Steel Samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim! The victim! Why would he steal the Steel Samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did it to cover up the details of his own murder? Uh, well, no, of course not. Hmm. What do you have proof? Give me proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. As a matter of fact, I do have proof. I have proof. You, you do? You do, Mr. Wright? Not a very surprise, suddenly. I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Because we have a empty bottle found in the employee area. Sleeping pills. <laughs> this is law. <laughs> this is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found it on a table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammers and Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. 
Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping.